guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks, and we're going to jump right into this Tasha K and Cardi B drama, okay? So as many of you guys already know, Cardi was recently awarded a $4 million lawsuit, a defamation lawsuit against Tasha K. Well, also, as many of you guys already know, Tasha K has been very outspoken in pretty much stating that she is not going to pay Cardi that money because supposedly she does not have it, okay? At this moment, I think it's $4 million. You have to pay a celebrity. A lot of conversation has been is, do you even have that amount of money to pay in this lawsuit? Like, is Tasha K worth that amount of money to pay that? I ain't got it. <laughs> 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 what? What? I want. I always want to know. Listen, I'm so well. Listen, Cardi is not going for that. Remember, Cardi went through the trouble of actually suing her. Okay, she got a lawyer. She put her finances behind this. She made not just a stand against Tasha K, but she took time out of her, you know, out of her her business, out of actually doing other things that she could have been doing to stick with this. So I don't see Cardi backing down. And, you know, here recently, just on yesterday, it sounds like Cardi Z it filed docs, and that was on Thursday night in federal court, demanding a permanent injunction against Tasha K. So she's still saying that Tasha K is still speaking negatively on her character. She's still defaming her character with lies and things that are not true. She's saying that pretty much the same things that she was actually found guilty of doing in this case she's still doing right now so you know she did file that um injunction and let's just be very clear tasha she did falsely claim that cardi committed adultery she had stds and she was a prostitute these were all of the things that tasha actually brought to the internet so these weren't things that cardi presented and she was giving her opinion on no these were claims that tasha actually brought to her platform and presented them as true and so that's why she lost her case because she was actually bringing lies to the internet and presenting them as um you know presenting them as fact and so you know she's still doing it um tasha has even been bragging about you know if they do sue she ain't got it she don't have any money to her name so she's bragging about pretty much you know you're not going to get paid and in addition to that she's still talking noise listen Cardi isn't playing with her. Cardi said, I need my, my coins and I need you to shut up, which makes sense. You know, it will stand to reason that if you lost this lawsuit, then there should have already been an injunction placed, you know, kind of like an, a gag order that going forward, you cannot speak on this individual because you've already lost the case for speaking on this individual. So I'm not sure how that works and why it wasn't already, you know, it wasn't already in the works, but Cardi isn't backing down. Tasha is bragging about, you know, pretty much, you know, she's not going to do this and she's not going to do that. Cardi is not backing down. Just last month when Ta Tasha was bragging about Cardi not getting her funds, Cardi took to her Twitter page and said, think it's a game, but trust, I'm going to come for everything. B-B-H-M-M. -M. In other words, be better have my money. So we're going to just kind of keep a close eye on this. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, my opinion on it is, you know, Tasha K is absolutely wrong. You lost, you know, why, what type of vendetta do you have against this individual where you would use your platform to spread false narratives? Okay. And not just false narratives that are already out there on the internet. You actually brought them to your platform as fact and had other people acting and re reacting on it. So, you know, it's kind of like you made up these things in your head and then you presented them as this is the truth this is fact and it just wasn't so i think that she's wrong i think that what she's doing is totally different from what other bloggers like myself you know a lot of people like to hop in my comments and say hey you're defaming this person you're defaming that person when in actuality i'm not making up any lies about any of these celebrities any of these influencers or youtubers what i'm doing is i'm using what they've already put out on the internet and providing my opinion and my commentary on it and that's kind of not what that's definitely not what tasha was doing when it came to cardi so yeah you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and we're going to keep things moving Moving. So the Grammys just announced on yesterday, March 4th, the five women essential to rap. Well, the five women essential to rap, Cardi B, Lil' Kim, MC Light, Sylvia Robinson, and Tierra Wack. 
And there was a lot of people that had something to say about that lineup. They felt like there was a lot of um, female rappers that were omitted. You know, there was some people that were omitted that should have been there. And then some people that were mentioned that may have not should have been there. So one of the most notable omissions was Nicki Minaj. So a lot of people were kind of wondering, how can you have a list of five women essential to rap and there be no Nicki Minaj list, uh, listed amongst those five women? And I'm going to agree. I am going to agree. Um, there's a lot of things that you can say about Nicki in terms of how she interacts with others, the things that she does behind the scenes. But when it comes to what she is to rap, you can't very well talk about, you know, and this is a broad category, five women essential to rap. It's, it doesn't say five women essential to rap in the last decade, five women essential to rap in the last five years. No, it says five women, uh, women essential to rap. So that's super broad, which means that it can span over a huge time frame. Nicki Minaj should have definitely been mentioned here. But let's not, number one, forget that she does have beef with the Grammys. Her and Ariana, who she's very close to, spoke out against the Grammys back in 2019. More specifically, um, they spoke out against a Grammy producer, Ken Ehrlich. And so they had some um, things to say about him publicly. And so since then, and even a little bit before, you've noticed that Nikki really, you know, she hasn't won a Grammy and, you know, she's kind of been speaking out against them ever since then. So there is bad blood there between Nikki and the Grammys. So that could be why she wasn't mentioned. But I think in terms of this list, you know, it can't be a true list if you do if you don't include Nikki. Now, what they did do was they created this list. That's the title: Five Women Essential to Rap: Cardi B, Lil Kim, MC Light, Sylvia Robinson, and Tierra Wack. Well, inside of the article, if you actually read the article, they do go in for Women's History Month and they mention a slew of other female rappers, including Nicki Minaj. So, let me just read an ep, ep, um, an excerpt from this particular article. In honor of Women's History Month, Grammy.com highlights some of the culture-shifting women who have changed the course of rap, spotlighting one artist who is moving the genre forward. And so they go on to say, um, you know, the current and future landscape of women in rap appears even brighter. Gone is the genre's unwritten rule that only one female superstar can exist at one time. And women are thriving in new ready-to-be-conquered uh, rap territory. In 2022, Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat's Say So remix topped the Billboard Hot 100, make it, marking the first time a female rap collaboration led the chart. They also go on to talk about Cardi B. They also, prior to that, mentioned Queen Latifah and her accomplishments. They mentioned Salt and Pepper and their accomplishments. So they do mention in this article a few rap females or a few rap women who were not listed amongst that top five so you know she was mentioned in the article i think i'm in agreement here with a lot of the people who are saying that she should have been mentioned as one of the five women in central to rap um however i think that the beef that her and the grammys have right now is why she was omitted let me know what you guys think down in the comment section on this one i think it's you know it's pretty cut and dry um there's a lot of things that you can deny when it comes to Nicki minaj but you cannot deny you know, first of all, you can't deny what she what she's accomplished. You can't deny her talent. So everything that she's accomplished is due to her talent. Sometimes people accomplish a lot of things. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you kind of have to go back and look and say, hey, I don't really mess with their music. But, you know, hey, they're they have number ones. Nicki Minaj, for the most part, I don't know anyone who listens to her who would say she can't rap or who would say she's not a lyricist. So I'm going to give her those props. Now, let me say on the flip side of that, before you know individuals come in the comment section and start talking about other people, I don't think just because Nicki Minaj is a lyricist that other female rappers who are not as much of a lyricist as her should be discredited. So I think there's two sides to, to music. You have those individuals who are lyricists, who can rap, who can go, you know, bar for bar. And then you have those individuals who make good music, but may not be the best lyricists. 
So let's go ahead and lump Nicki Minaj in both of those categories. And so that's kind of why she stands out. She stands out because not only is she capable of, you know, going bar to bar, not with just any female, but with most men, but she also makes good music. Let's take a look at Cardi B. Cardi B makes good music and she may not be the best lyricist. Her lyricism may be, you know, a step under, two steps under, three steps under the best. Not to say that she's not, because a lot of people like to discredit her lyricism, but that's not to say that she's not. I think that she just makes really good music. And then you have some individuals, in my opinion, who don't do either, but they're still charting. And so I'm not going to even name those individuals right now. But yeah, so I think that's the difference. And a lot of people want to discredit the person that makes good music by, oh, you're not this, you're not that. Well, give them their props as an artist, as a rap, as a rap artist, because they are making good music. Just like you can't deny the fact that Nicki Minaj can rap. You can't deny the fact that when a Cardi song comes on, you feel a certain type of way. Okay. You want to do whatever the song says do, or you feeling like a bad beat. Okay. So let's just give both women their props in my opinion, because I think personally, both women are talented and that's my opinion. So just in terms of the article itself, like I said, I think that, you know what, the Grammys, you can very well have that list and not include Nikki and have that list be credible. Okay. That's my opinion. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.